In this video, we will be going over how to time the knife drive on the Airflex, Airflex SDX, and RDX Honeybee models. Timing should be checked after any of the knife drive components have been disassembled or replaced. If needed, disconnect the drive shaft from the knife drive to allow you to rotate the drive assembly more freely. Turn the drive and install a half inch bolt or rod through the alignment hole of the flywheels. Remove the transition plate covering the front of the knife drive. Loosen the drive arm jam nuts using a 1 and 1 8 inch crow's foot. Disconnect the two knife drive arms from each of the flywheels at the rear of the drive by removing the carriage bolts. Adjust the knife drive arm links until the bell cranks are aligned at the front of the drive. This can be checked with a straight edge. Once aligned, turn the right hand arm an additional three turns clockwise. Apply red Loctite to the carriage bolts and the tie rod threads. Reattach the knife drive arms to the flywheels and torque to 68 foot pounds. Torque the drive arm jam nuts to 230 foot pounds. At the same time, support the bottom of the tie rod end with the pry bar. This keeps the tie rod from twisting and damaging the rubber boot. Remove the timing bolt from the flywheels and turn the drive by hand. If equipped with a low cut system, make sure there is a minimum of 5 16 of an inch clearance between the knives at their closest point. Run the header and observe the point between the left hand and right hand knife heads. Ensure the two knives do not contact each other during operation. The standard cutting system uses an overlap design. The timing procedure is the same for both standard and low cut options. Reinstall the transition plate and pull it as far forward as possible before securing it in place. This provides more clearance for the drive and avoids damage to the plate. There's a quick overview on how to adjust the knife drive timing on the Honeybee Airflex, Airflex SDX, and RDX models. If you have any further questions, please refer to your operator's manual or contact your local Honeybee dealer.